Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing the Unpopular Opinions book tag. Um, I wasn't tagged by anyone, but I love watching these videos, so I just decided I would do one. So, yeah. Okay, um, the first question is, a popular book or series you didn't like? And for that, I have the To All the Boys I've Left Before and P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. I just... I've heard only positive things about this series, but I didn't like it. Like, um, I don't know. I just, I didn't like the main character. She just irritated me. Yeah. Okay, next. A popular, okay, a popular series that everyone seems to hate but you love. Okay, so for this one, um, typically when, like, people hate a series, like, I don't really like it either, so I don't really know what to say for this, but um, I'm going to say a book that a lot of people do like, but I do know a lot of people who did not like it at all, and that is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart, and this book is probably my favorite book of all time. Um, yeah, it's amazing. I would highly recommend it to anyone. It's only like 200 pages so you can easily go through it, but I loved it. I think it's definitely worth reading just to see, form your own opinion on it. So, I love that book. Okay, next question is a love triangle where the main character didn't end up with the person you wanted them to end up with or an OTP that you don't like. Okay, so for this one, I said Kale and Selena from the Throne of Glass series. Um, after Throne of Glass, a lot of people were, like, pro-Dorian, and then after Crown of Midnight, a lot of people were pro-Kale, and I just honestly don't really understand that. I guess, like, Selena and Kale spend a lot of time together in Crown of Midnight, but I still don't like them together. I'm still, like, Team Dorian. Four is a, a popular book genre that you hardly reach for. I'd say contemporary. Honestly, I'm just, like, not into, like, the, like feel good books honestly like um I like contemporaries that are like dark like I mean We Were Liars as I mentioned before is my favorite book of all time and it's contemporary but it deals with like really dark topics and it's definitely not a feel good love story so <laughs> really like I want like action and adventure and I want like psychological things like I I don't like I, I'm not the biggest fan of just like plain like love stories sometimes I like them but like Typically, I don't really reach for it. Next, a popular or beloved character that you don't like. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to the Immortal Instruments series, which is one of my favorite series of all time, because Sandra Clare is my favorite author. But, okay, <laughs> so out of the five main characters, um, out of yeah, the five main characters, Clary, Jace, Isabel, Simon, and Alec, I only like... <laughs> Isabel and Simon. Like, I love Isabel and Simon, but the other three irritate me, which I think is the main reason why I prefer the Infernal Devices, because honestly, I like the, uh, plotline of the Mortal Instruments. I think it has, like, a stronger plotline, but the characters just, like, ruin it, and I love the characters in the Infernal Devices, and I was a lot more invested with in them, so, and, like, Clockwork Princess was a lot more emotional for me to read than City of Heavenly Fire. Six is a popular author you couldn't really get into. I really don't have an answer to this, honestly. Like, there's no popular author I haven't really been able to get into. So, I don't know. Seven is a popular book trope that you're tired of seeing. Okay, for this one, it's like the, like, quiet, mysterious kind of, like, guy, like, the love interest. And I have some examples, like, um, Four from the Divergent series. Um, Kale from the Throne of Glass series. They just... Are boring like honestly like I used to really like four but now like I'm like he was a pretty boring character honestly like he was just like like you know the type I'm talking about I'm just I just don't like that like guys have like personality so number eight is a popular series that you have no interest in reading okay um I said Game of Thrones by George R.R. R. Martin. Um, 
yeah, I've never watched the show. I don't have any intention of ever watching the show. I don't even know what it's about. I have no idea what it's about. Um, I've never read the books. I The books are just too big, like, honestly. Like, I mean, if I really wanted to read them, then I would, like, sit down and take the time. But I just don't really have the interest, so I don't think I ever will. Okay, the last question. The saying goes, the book is always better than the movie. But name a movie or TV show that you liked better than the book. Okay, for this one, I have The Spectacular Now. I don't remember who the author of this is. But, um, okay, I watched the movie at first. I watched the movie before I read the book. But I don't think that influenced my decision at all. So, um, I watched the movie. The movie's with Miles Teller and Shailene Woodley. And I love Miles Teller. But, um, and I loved him in the movie and everything. But, like, the book was a lot different. Like, the movie was more of, like, a love story. Like, more of, like, uh, yeah, it was, like, more of a love story. More of a, like, coming of age thing. And the book just wasn't really like that at all. Um, I'm not to spoil it. Like, I don't really think this is a very, like, popular, like, movie or book. Or the movie's kind of popular. But, like, if you care about the difference then like mute this part but I feel like most people don't so um at the end of the book at the end of the movie which I feel like more of you have seen the movie than read the book at the end of the movie Sutter is like changed um after he met Amy and like dated Amy and stuff uh, he like changed he matured he became a new person and like that's nice to see that coming of age and how she like led him into like the more mature state but in the book that doesn't happen <laughs> like I feel like Amy's not even that significant of a role in the book so that's kind of weird and then um, at the end of the book he's the same person like he doesn't change at all um, Okay, so if you've seen a movie, at the end of the movie, he goes to see her at college because um, she wants him to move in with him. Yeah, she, yeah, she wants him to move in with her. And um, then, like, he's like, oh, no, I'm not going to do it and stuff. But then, like, the very last scene, he, like, surprises her there. At the end of the book, she is under the impression that he's going, but he has no intention of going. And then the book just ends. And then... I guess she's like off at school like waiting for him for like eternity and it's just like oh. <laughs> like he did not change as a person at all throughout the book so I just yeah I prefer the movie just <laughs> don't bother reading the book if you were planning on it like it's a short book but I would not recommend okay so that is the end of this tag so Yeah. Bye.